everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I'm renovating 17 Culpeper House and instead of just completely demolishing it and creating my own floor plan and going from there, I wanted to do a renovation as if a new person had acquired this property and wanted to renovate it and make it more modern and updated for renting out to new tenants. So that is what I'm doing here today. And it did take a little bit of fiddling, but I'm really happy with how it came out in the end. I used these really pretty floorboards. The kitchen is still over in that entry space, but I think I was able to make the space look a lot bigger and brighter <laughs> as well as a little bit more expensive and inviting because these yellow walls with those brown cabinets were just not working. But this is a really nice apartment. It's a corner unit with a lot of windows. So it's definitely a desirable location. So I just wanted to update it and uh, make it a desirable interior as well. So I am just playing around right now, trying to figure out what cabinets I want to use in the kitchen. I have a few different options. I did stream this over on Twitch first, so you might recognize this if you follow me over there. It's twitch.tv slash if you would like to join us in the future. I've been doing a lot of building over there lately, and you'll see a couple of those this week. I did also consider moving which wall the kitchen was on, but I decided against that in the end. And what I actually did end up doing, I think it looks so cool. It looks more like a built-in kitchen. I have like cabinetry that is going to go around the appliances, and it looks like a modern kitchen I would see in like very expensive apartment tours. This is nothing I've seen in real life before, but I really like it. It's incredibly updated. So we're just getting these base game countertops and cabinets. The fridge is tucked in there. We're going to have an island in the middle with the sink and we have the stove over on the back wall as well. I think it ends up being so clean in here. Also, the other thing I almost forgot to mention is this apartment is only using city living and base game. I wanted to do that because I started working on this and I realized that I was pretty much just using those. You'll see me a couple of times place down something that is not from Base Game or City Living, but I do go back and swap those out later, so no worries if you do see that. Uh, I just thought it was cool that I realized I was mostly just using Base Game and City Living, so sticking to it was not too hard. It's nice to do some limited pack builds here and then, so... Uh, I hope you do enjoy this one. If you do and you'd like to download it, I will make sure to have it available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So anyway, the kitchen is coming together here. I decided to use the swatch of the oven that has like the gold bit to it. It just felt like it matched for some reason. And in a couple of different places, I do have some accent brick, like exposed brick walls. Uh, I didn't think it worked there in the kitchen, but I think I ended up putting it back in the end because I, I was very indecisive and I kept going back and forth. Also, let me know how you feel about the speed of this video. I think it's a little bit slower than normal and I didn't edit out as much as I typically do in a build. I It was a really short one, so I decided I would show you more of the process so you can kind of see how I work. I'll place things down, I'll go into tab mode and look around and I did use a little bit of tool in this build, primarily just to resize this rug. This is one of my favorite rugs. I forgot it was even from City Living. I just love it so much. So I was excited to be able to use that here in this limited pack build. And then I ended up just using base game furniture because the City Living stuff is interesting, but I find it hard to use. Whereas I think this is a little bit more realistic of furniture you might have, or this might be a staged apartment. I know I did one of those recently. But um, I was just thinking this was a new re newly renovated place. Um, I'm thinking the Sim already moved in, but it is pretty clean and simple. And I really like it. This style of apartment is something that I enjoy and I would like to have someday. Uh, because modern updated apartments here are just unreasonably expensive. And I can't imagine ever affording. Uh, so like making them in the Sims, I can kind of imagine that I have this space dream about it a little bit so that is what I'm doing and then I wanted to use this planter in the corner which is from City Living but I don't know what it is about that one I guess because it's such a chunky sculptural vase I find it a little bit difficult to use because it's so big so I ended up getting an even bigger plant but it's mostly plant here not mostly vase the, the ratio was a little bit better in my opinion 
And then getting some lights above the table, I once again scaled these with tool just to make them a little bit more prominent in the space. I think that looks nice. And then we should be working on a area for a TV soon. Oh, wait. I think I put down a bookcase here and then I don't do anything with the television until after I work on the bedroom. I feel like I was playing around with this and I skipped back and forth, but I might be wrong. I could be forgetting. Uh, but we're, yeah, we're working on the TV now. I did think about um, some of the tiny living stuff and then I was like, no, I am doing a base game and city living build and we're going to stick to what we're doing. And I love this bookcase from city living. It's not one I use very often, but I think it's a very interesting shape and it definitely lurk, uh, lurked. It definitely worked for the style I was going for in this particular apartment. And then we're going to just work on the bathroom and the bedroom now. I use the same tile in the bathroom that I used in the kitchen. And of course, I had to replace those linoleum floors that were definitely very dated. This place got a major facelift and I think it looks really nice. I've always really enjoyed this apartment though. I've mentioned before in videos when I renovate 17 Cold Pepper House that this was the first apartment that I played in when City Living came out. I actually had a City Living Let's Play. And so whenever I build in this apartment, I think about that Let's Play and my Sim Catalea. And um, it was just such a fun time. I'm really excited for whatever the next pack to come out is. I'm assuming it's werewolves at this point. Uh, but I am excited to play around and like have a sim and check everything out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any gameplay on the channel, but I'm thinking about doing some gameplay over on Twitch if you are interested in joining us over there. Uh, there'll be a lot of fun streams this upcoming month for Pride Month. I'm very excited. And uh, yeah, that's it for the bathroom. I did rotate a picture above the toilet, so it was a vertical painting instead. And I think it looks really nice that way. Anyway, moving back into the bedroom, once again, a beautiful item from City Living that I always forget is from City Living. This four poster bed is stunning and I feel like it really fit the vibes of this apartment where it's kind of light and airy, but also with some really dark prominent colors, but also very modern. I don't know if any of that made sense, but that's just kind of the vibe I get from it. And I'm just getting some bedside tables in here. I did get some luggage as well, which I thought looked really nice. That is another side table from City Living and then just getting some flowers and stuff. Uh, did I end up keeping the clock? I like the idea of adding clocks into the builds, but a lot of the time I just, I don't feel like they work. They're so tiny and pixelated and at least the base game ones, we don't have very many good options. I mean, we don't have very many good options for clocks in general. I feel like that'd be another thing that would be nice to get additional options for, like additional clocks. Um, but it's, it's definitely not the top of my list, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, just adding a painting and a little chair in the corner, figuring out the rest of this room because it felt a little bit unfinished, but I also liked how calm it was. So I ended up just adding a couple of paintings above the bed. I thought two looked a little bit better than the three. And then I think we paint the wall, one of the walls in here as well, just to add an additional bit of contrast and a lamp. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone.